because it's about to be 6 p.m. Oh, awesome. So welcome. We will go ahead and begin. My name is Megan. Thank you for tuning in and joining. A quick reminder before I forget, there'll be no class next Monday. Um, so happy holidays and happy Thanksgiving. So let's go ahead and begin. So sitting up comfortably, finding yourself just in a nice, comfortable space that suits you for tonight. Maybe the legs are crossed and go ahead and close the eyes down and begin to focus on your breath. So the spine is lengthening up towards the ceiling. Notice where you can relax and let go. Taking a full deep breath in through the nose. And a long exhale out through the mouth. Stop it. And again, full deep breath in through the nose. And then long, full exhale out through the mouth. And then on this breath, option to do a slow inhale for a count of four or five, hold for a count of three or four, exhale for a count of four or five. And then when you think you've exhaled all the way, see if you can just push out a little bit more of air. So go ahead and try that in your time. And as you exhale, feel your whole body relax. Do that a couple more times. Full deep breath in. A slow exhale out. And one more time. Take a full deep breath in. And then soften everything for a long, full exhale out. Go ahead and blink your eyes open. And let's do some seated cat cows. So <clears throat> relaxing the shoulders down. Let's take a full breath in and kind of arch your spine. The animals are going crazy again. <laughs> and lift the chest up towards the ceiling so the chin is lifting as well. And then as you exhale, hug your belly button towards your spine, let the head drop, hug your chin in and really stretch out and lengthen the back. So the shoulder blades now, they're pulling away from the spine and then keep with that movement. Inhale, feel the chest and chin lift up towards the ceiling, feel the shoulder blades melt down the back, wrap at your spine. <laughs> and then exhale, round in the spine. And a few more times, big inhale. <laughs> Lifting up towards the ceiling, feel the heart opening nice and wide. And a full exhale, rounding your spine. Let it feel good, hug the belly button towards the spine and one more time. Big inhale, heart lifts up. And big exhale, rounding your spine. Okay, coming back towards center, loosening up those shoulders. Maybe you hug them up towards your ears. And as you exhale, roll them down the back. And again, inhale, hug the shoulders up. And exhale, relax. <laughs> okay, one more time. Inhale, squeeze them up. Okay, exhale, roll them down. Okay, let's take a big inhale and reach the arms up nice and high towards the ceiling. And then exhale as you twist over towards your right. Staying gentle here as you feel a nice twist, and bring your gaze over that right shoulder. And exhale, float back through center. Pause here for a moment, big inhale, reach the arms up nice and high to the ceiling. And exhale, find your twist. 
continue lengthening up with the spine, squeezing your belly button towards the spine and twisting another breath in. And exhale, release, come back to center. And we'll do some stretches to either side, right hand um, on the mat, big inhale, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. And exhale, reach over to your right. And either stay here or choose to drop your forearm down. Maybe you start to gaze up at the ceiling and kind of let the heart twist open towards the ceiling just to feel a nice opening and keep reaching and lengthening through that left hand for another breath in. And exhale, come back to center. Drop your left hand on the floor, big inhale, reach your right arm up nice and high, reach through the fingertips. And then as you exhale, reach over to your left. Feeling a stretch through the side body, stay here or drop down to your forearm and just explore and reach a bit more. Option to bring your gaze up towards the ceiling and the right shoulder sort of starts to open up and the heart turns and lifts a bit towards the ceiling as well. And another breath. And exhale, release, come back to center. Let's go to the other side again. So drop your right hand down. We'll just kind of move a bit quicker. Let the inhale bring your left arm up. And as you exhale, reach over towards your right. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, start to fold your upper body over your right knee. Keep a nice neutral neck and spine. Another breath. And exhale, float your way back up towards center. And the next inhale will bring your right arm up towards the ceiling. Awesome. Exhale, reach over towards your left. Inhale. And on the exhale, fold the upper body a bit over your left knee. Keep reaching through your right fingertips. Take another breath. And exhale, come back through center. All right, why don't we find our way into our child's pose? Letting your knees come to the edges of your mat and settling down through the ankles, bringing the big toes to touch behind you. And start to reach your arms forward. On a big exhale, let your forehead and heart center drop down towards the mat into contact with something. And maybe you kind of rock your hips a bit from side to side here just to kind of warm them up a bit and see how they're feeling. So choose your child's pose variation and stay here for three breaths. And as we move through the yoga practice, notice on the inhales if there's any more length that you can find. And on the exhales, if you can sink into the pose any deeper. And one more full breath in, fill your lungs all the way up. And a nice slow exhale out through the mouth. Awesome, from your child's pose, let's press our way up to tabletop. And from our tabletop, we've got our shoulder stacks right over our wrists and we're going to thread the needle. So for this, let's start by um, scooching your left hand up a bit. We're going to slide this right arm um, under and through the left and drop down to your right shoulder and adjust your left hand however you see fit so that it's comfortable. And I try to keep my hips still stacked above the knees. So the side of my head is also resting down gently on the mat. Stay for another breath. And on your exhale, find your way back to your tabletop. 
And let's go right to the other side. So adjusting and maybe moving up your right hand slightly and then sending your left hand um, under your right arm. So if you've got your left palm up towards the ceiling and then adjust your right hand as needed. And begin to settle down to your left shoulder. Okay, take one more breath in. And on the exhale, find your way back to tabletop. Okay, neutral tabletop, and let's tap into um, the core. So, keeping the gaze just between the two hands, fingertips spread nice and wide, a soft bend through the elbows, and maybe even feel your core, like someone's about to poke you in the belly button. So we want our core to be active and we don't want to be dropping into the shoulder. So from here, let's kick our right foot back behind us. We're going to come into that calf stretch. So first, as we're here, let's feel our core kick out through the, the back of your right heel. And on your next exhale, gently drop the right toes to the back edge of your mat. And start to really press into the hands, engage the arms, work your right heel down towards the ground to feel an opening in that calf muscle. And lift your right leg, bring it up and over your left leg. So drop your right toes to the floor and start to gaze over your left shoulder and also in this pose feeling a side body stretch through um, your right side body as you you're glancing over that left shoulder and then finding your way back tabletop okay finding that nice neutral strong tabletop once again and then sending the left foot and leg long behind you. Flex that left foot. Keep pressing down um, through the hands and the right knee. Engage the core and then start to drop the left toes to the back edge of your mat. Maybe keeping the gaze just between the two hands. <clears throat> then start working your left heel down towards the ground to feel that stretch through your calf. <clears throat> bringing your left leg, bring it up and over that right leg, feeling the side body stretch through the left side and ribs, engage over your right shoulder, see if you can check out your left toes. <sighs> And then find your way back tabletop. And from here, why don't we press up to downward facing dog. So start to bring your hands forward um, a bit. The hands are hips width distance apart. Bend your knees and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Relax through your head and neck, maybe pedal the feet out. Stay soft through your elbows, soft through your knees. Ah, spread your fingertips. And as you're here in your downward facing dog, just notice how the body's feeling. So how the soles of the feet are feeling, the calves, the hamstrings, hips and shoulders. Take a full breath in. Big exhale out. Go ahead and drop the knees down. And actually come back to your tabletop position. Give those shoulders a break. And slide your right foot forward. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, you got a hand on either side of the foot here. Your right toes are at 12 o'clock. And the right ankle is right underneath the knee. Okay, before we go anywhere, let's just feel the opening that's happening through the left um, quadricep and 
hip flexors. So if you can sink or melt into the hips any bit more, see how that feels. And you've got your hands maybe down on the floor for support. And then send your hips to the back edge of your mat, come into your runner's stretch. So start to straighten through your um, front right leg. Get the right toes pointed towards your face and start folding over that right leg. And if this doesn't feel okay, keep a soft bend through your right knee. Start to bend your right knee and bring the right foot to the floor. Leave your left hand down on the ground and take an inhale as you feel a nice twist and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, lower your right hand back down and go to the other side. Inhale, twist and reach. Exhale, let it go. And again, inhale, reach that right arm up. Maybe you gaze up towards your ceiling. Exhale, lower down. Last time here, inhale, reach your left arm up. Reach and lift through the fingertips. And exhale, release, lower down. Tuck your back toes under. We'll lift the hips up and come into a pyramid pose. So step the back foot up and out slightly. Hands are down on the ground for support. We're folding over that right leg. With this feeling too tight on the hips, feel free to separate the feet a bit more so they're on train tracks. And bend the knees if you need to. Come into a halfway lift while you're here, and we're going to shift forward to our standing split. So maybe by bending the knees and springing forward, the right foot stays down on the floor. Adjust your hands as needed and start folding over your right leg as you lift the left heel up towards the ceiling. Really engage through this standing leg and you're still engaging through this foot that's lifting up. So flex to the um, back left foot like you're kicking out through the heel. See if you can lift that leg just a bit higher and give it a little bit of a deeper fold in the upper body. And on your next exhale, let it go and come into a forward fold. Keeping your feet about hips width distance apart, fold in the upper body, bend the knees, and grab opposite elbows for a ragdoll pose. <sighs> On the next exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. And from here, inhale to a halfway lift. So press into your feet and let the heart lift up and bring your hands to your shins. And exhale, fold. Two more times. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Let the heart pull forward, the shoulders pull away from your ears. And exhale, fold. One more time, press into the feet. Inhale, lift halfway. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to the mat and find your way to your tabletop. Go ahead and bring your left foot forward, bringing it between the two hands. And checking out to make sure your left ankle is right underneath your left knee. <sighs> On an exhale, notice if you can soften or melt into your hips and just kind of notice how this side is feeling. Maybe tuck your back toes um, 
under and shift your hips back, come into your runner stretch. Flexing your left toes towards the face, start folding over your left thigh to feel a stretch through your left hamstring. And think through your left knee, bring your left uh, foot to the mat, a hand on either side of the foot will come into some twists. So leave your right hand down on the mat and as you inhale, twist and open, reach your left hand up to the ceiling. And exhale, drop it down. Other side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go. And again, inhale, reach up. Maybe you gaze up at the ceiling, check out the fingertips. Exhale, release. And inhale to twist and open. And exhale, lower down. Tuck the back toes under. We'll lift the hips up and come into that pyramid pose. So working on straightening through maybe both legs, grounding the feet down on the floor. Uh, the back foot is facing up towards the top right hand corner of the mat. Really press down in your feet and allow the torso to fold over your left thigh. And start prepping here to shift forward to your standing split. So we'll be lifting the right leg, keep that left Foot planted down on the floor, adjust the hands as needed, and start folding the nose towards uh, your left knee. Be sure to flex your back foot and keep lifting your right heel up. Keep plugging down to that standing foot, a soft bend through the knee for three, two, and one. Big exhale, fold forward. <sighs> Maybe coming into another ragdoll pose here in your forward fold, grabbing opposite elbows. And really softening through your belly, letting your tummy kind of rest on the tops of your thighs. And as you exhale, bring your right hand between the two feet. <clears throat> Start to bend softly through your right leg straighten through the left and twist and reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. So in this pose, maybe feeling a stretch along your left leg, the back of the left leg, the glute area, and even a bit in the calf and lower leg. And as you exhale, fold forward, stay here for a minute, shake it out. And then bring your left hand between the two feet. Start to bend your left knee. Straighten and really ground down through this right foot. And start to twist and reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. Maybe you're gazing up at the ceiling or if that doesn't feel okay, you can always keep your gaze at the floor or just straight ahead. Another breath in. Exhale, let it go, fold forward. You can come into monkey pose or gorilla pose, either using the peace fingers to grab your big toes or slipping your palms all the way underneath the soles of the feet. And whatever you're doing, just allowing the knees to bend and really soften through the tummy, let the head and neck fall forward. <clears throat> and gently release the hands. We'll come into a halfway lift, so press down through your feet and inhale, lift halfway. And a big exhale to fold forward. Rise up to stand, so really press down through the feet, engage the muscles of the legs. Roll the shoulders up and back, big inhale, sweep the arms up. 
and exhale, fold forward. And again, inhale, lift halfway, really press through the feet. Let the hips pull back and the heart pull forward. And exhale, fold. Big inhale, ground down through the feet and rise up. Arms come up, maybe you gaze up at the ceiling and the hips press forward. And exhale, fold. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale to fold. Inhale, press through your feet. Rise all the way up to stand. With the inhale, bring your hands and arms up overhead. And exhale, fold forward. From here, inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, put your hands down on your mat and let's step back to high plank. <coughs> You always have the option to drop your knees in high plank. And just like how we were in our tabletop, we're pressing the earth away from us. So if the knees are lifted, backs of the legs are lifting up towards the ceiling, fingertips are spread nice and wide. Using the core, keep the hips lifted. And we'll hold for three, two, and one. Exhale as you lower your knees down and then sink your hips down. Maybe flip onto the tops of your feet and just let the front of the body open up. And from here, bring the knees to the edges of your mat and shift your way back to child's pose for two breaths. And after your second breath, let's find your way downward facing dog. Start to reach your hands forward, bend your knees and send your hips up high towards the ceiling. Ah. Option is stay in downward facing dog or coming into a three legged dog. So we'll just start to lift your right heel up towards the ceiling. Maybe just check out how that feels and while you're in this pose, you wanna continue pressing your chest back towards your left thigh and keep working your left heel down towards the mat. And exhale, lower that leg down. And maybe to the other side. Inhale, reach the left leg up. Keep really pressing down through the finger pads, engage through your arms. And exhale, let it go, downward facing dog. Engage through your core and roll out to a high plank. Option to drop the knees. Back of the neck nice and long, gaze in between the two hands. Let's shift into side plank. So keeping the right hand down. Twist and reach that left hand up towards the ceiling. Option here to come into a half bind. So dropping the back of your left hand to the low back. Feel that left shoulder peel open. Keep those hips engaged. And float your way back towards your high plank and let's go right over to the other side. Left hand stays down on the mat. Use your core, keep the hips lifted. Reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. And maybe it drops down to your low back so the right shoulder can have a bit more of an opening. Okay, come on back, high plank. Sit down, Riley, please. And drop your knees, drop your hips. And feel a nice opening. And from here, tuck those toes under, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. From down dog, step your right foot forward between your two hands. You will come into a crescent lunge. And you can always drop your back knee here. So all 10 toes are facing forward and my back heel is lifted up off the mat. 
So once you feel steady and really engaged through the legs, as you lighten up in the upper body, kind of just let yourself float up. Hands can be either on the hips. If you want a nice shoulder opener, they can interlace at the low back. You can go ahead and take goal post arms or reach them straight up. Uh, the cat was about to be jumping on the computer screen. <sighs> Relax through your shoulders. And we're just going to hang out here for a couple seconds. Whenever I used to be in yoga class and they'd say this, I would have to say to myself, I love crescent lunge, I love crescent lunge, even though I didn't really. Let's take another inhale. Maybe you reach up and go back. We're going to exhale and bring both your hands to the inside of this right foot. And creep your right foot out towards the right edge of your mat. Drop your back knee down if you want. You can make the back knee lifted if that feels good. We'll hang out in um, deepest lunge for a bit. You can drop down to your forearms. While you're in this pose, focus on squeezing your right knee into your right shoulder. Stay relaxed through the neck and also maybe you're feeling an opening through the left hip flexors. Yeah, so there's lots of opening here. So wherever you can let go and soften, maybe through the neck, the face, the fingertips. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Use your hands and press up. Let's turn this the right foot out to about two o'clock if you want just a bit of a different thing. Roll onto the pinky side of your foot. Place your right hand on the right side. And then we're just exhaling and coming back. We'll step back to our high plank. So tuck your back toes under, really press into your hands with that back. And then downward facing. Uh, nice full breath in. Big exhale out. Step your left foot forward between the two hands. We'll build our crescent one. All ten toes facing directly forward, left ankle underneath the left knee. Go ahead and plug into, yeah, the feet, this left leg. And then when you're ready, start to lift the upper body. You've got your back leg lifted. Notice if it feels better to have a maybe little bend through the back knee. Or sometimes it helps me to really lift that back knee up towards the ceiling. It really helps kind of engage um, my leg. And then any arm variation that feels good. Notice the fingertips. So continue lifting them up. Let the upper body feel light. Take an inhale. Maybe you bring your gaze up towards the ceiling and lean back. And then with control on your exhale, bring both hands to the inside of this left foot. Walk your left foot out to the edge of the mat. And if you'd like, drop your back knee. You can stay here or drop down to your forearms. And then option to turn your left foot out to 10 o'clock. Roll onto the pinky side of your left foot so you can see the sole of the foot. 
And then if you want, bring your left hand to your left thigh or just gently on the knee for a little stretch. And then in your time, we will find our way back right to downward facing dog. <sighs> Start to walk your feet up towards your hands. And maybe the feet stay about hips with distance apart. Stay in a forward fold for just a moment. And then on your next inhale, plug into the feet and rise up to stand. And let the inhale bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Palms come together and as you exhale, let your hands come to heart center. So cue into all four corners of each foot and really ground down. We'll go through just a quick balancing series. Have a soft bend through your knees. And we'll start with tree pose. So shifting your body weight into your left foot. Start to bend your right knee. And then let the right foot come along the left leg wherever it feels comfortable. You always have the option for um, a wall or for extra support and any hand variation that feels good. And as you plug down through that left foot, see if you can kind of lift, maybe grow another inch so the energy is hugging to the midline, top of the head is reaching up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, lower down and separate the feet just a bit and shake. <sighs> And then bringing the feet back together-ish, about hips width distance, go to the other side. Shift the body weight into your right leg. Make sure the toes are facing directly forward. And bend your left knee and place the foot along the right leg. And any arm variation. And if you can find something in front of you that is still, that you can glance at. And then press down through the sole of that right foot to lift. So see if there's anywhere else in the body where you can just lift just a bit more. And exhale, softly release, let it go. Okay, let's go into Eagle Pose. So bringing the feet about hips width distance apart. We're going to take our right leg and bring it up and over the left. <clears throat> so this right foot can kind of be on the ground, bend your left knee so the inner thighs are squeezing together. And then the right arm comes under. So you can either have um, palms-ish touching for like a double twist, or we can just do the um, back of each hand touching. Shoulders are stacked right over the hips and notice if you can sit any lower, keep hugging to your midline and breathing. The back is nice and flat for three, two, and one. Exhale, let it go. Come on out of that. Ooh, inhale, sweep your arms up. And exhale, come right into the other side. So start to bend your right leg, bring the left leg up and over. Inner thigh squeeze together, engage the core, and the left arm comes under. And it's like as if your back is up against a wall. So we want to be like we're sitting up tall, the spine is lengthening up. Keep focusing on a nice steady breath. 
can find your edge. So can you sink just a bit deeper? Can the forearms maybe pull away from the face just a bit more, but keep the elbows lifted for another breath in. And exhale, release. Plug into both feet, big inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, just let them come down and shake from side to side. Oh, all right. Let's come to the top of our mat. Okay, big inhale, sweep your arms up. And exhale, fold forward. From here, bring your feet up to the edges of your mat. Drop down to a quick squat. You can either keep it in a still motion with um, elbows towards the inner thighs. Or if you'd like some motion here, kind of rocking from side to side, maybe even rocking behind you and letting the hands drop down. Try that out. <sighs> okay, then bringing the hands behind you, lower down, we'll come into reverse tabletop. So bring your feet so that they're hips width distance apart. Hands are behind you with fingertips facing the heels. Press into your feet, press into your hands. Lift your hips up. And exhale, lower down. Come into um, your pigeon pose. So if you like taking this while you are kind of sitting up, you can do that. Or if you want, go ahead and roll down onto your back. So we've got the right ankle over the left knee. If you're staying sitting, if you work everything in closer towards one another, that's how we can get a bit more of a deeper stretch. <sighs> and maybe some neck rolls feel nice if you're in the seated option. And find your way out of the pose. So soften, 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 and switch your sides. And taking the time to check in and see how you're feeling and then even more from there, seeing how you're feeling, feeling any sensations and not really labeling it or judging it, just kind of being okay with what is. On your next exhale, soften, 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 let go, and let's lay on down if you aren't already. And come right into a waterfall, lift your feet up to the ceiling. Begin to bend your knees and squeeze the knees into your chest. Maybe wrap your arms around the shins and press your low back down into the ground. And maybe you rock from side to side. We'll come into a spinal twist. So you can either have, keep both knees and just begin to drop them over towards the right. Bring your arms out to a T. So you've got the left leg stacked over the right or you can Squeeze a knee into the shoulder and do the sort of more classic spinal twist that I usually always um, offer. Okay. 
and find your way to the other side. 